It's a beautiful morning. It's going to be a good day. So, have you done it already? Have you told yourself today that today is going to be a good day? No one has to be around. No one's around when I say it. Except for you, but you watch it later. So while I'm saying no one's around, it's going to be a good day today. Say it out loud to yourself, all right? And if you don't believe yourself, say it again. It's going to be a good day. We've got a little bit of 4WD action happening out here on the roads. It snowed last night and uh, left the roads quite slick. Well, I should be more accurate. It snowed last night and then they plowed the roads early this morning and now it's slick. Right, they got all four tires spinning right now. <laughs> it's, it's greasy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The thing you gotta remember with icy roads is that four wheel drive does absolutely nothing to help you stop. Right? It's only to help you get going. So just because you put the 4WD on doesn't mean you're invincible. You still got to take a long stretch to stop on this ice. This is sheer ice. Probably doesn't look like it on the camera, but right in the tracks right there. Oh yeah, she's greasy. You always got to watch behind you too to make sure everyone else is slowing down too. What 4WD or what four-wheel drive does best is at the stoplights like that, it just helps you get moving a little bit faster. Because I had it in two-wheel drive, which I usually do. And uh, stopped at the first light there this morning. And you just sit there and spin and your back end fishtails, it usually swings towards the curb or whichever way the road is leaning. And you might even slide sideways into a car that way. Put 4WD on, it just gives you a little bit more stability as you're getting going. But anyway, you know all this stuff. Look at these lights, how they shoot upwards like that. Is the camera picking that up? I always wonder what causes that. See all these like street lights on this end of town? They got like a straight beam of light going straight up to the sky. It's pretty neat. I don't really know what I'm doing today. Maybe I'm driving a van. Maybe I'm driving a truck. I don't know. I'm keeping myself busy until, uh, well, I'm keeping myself busy as I can, doing whatever I can. See those lights? They're going straight up into the sky. Weird, right? But it happens all the time. And I know that there's an explanation for it. I just can't, I just don't know it right now. And I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea what it is. But I have heard the explanation before. I know it's out there. The truth is out there. So I've seen a lot of you in my comment section asking about my road test uh, last week. It went very well. Come on, Panner. What's the problem, Panner? Road's a little bit slippery for you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You're doing the right thing, but you go the speed you're comfortable with. Accident number one of today. What happened there? Looks like someone slid through a red, probably. Got a little bit schmucked. It's a slippery day. Be careful out there. We're here at Deacon's Corner. I gotta check in real quick here. Just make sure that there's no new things that have popped up on my way into Winnipeg. Driving a five ton, a five ton straight truck today. Picked up a few pieces in Steinbach, gotta bring them to the airport in Winnipeg. But first I gotta check, make sure there's nothing else I gotta do on my way there.
to head to the airport. This route was about 10 kilometers shorter and uh, was supposed to save quite a bit of time. So far we've been hitting mostly green lights. So the other option would have been to go all the way around the south perimeter to Route 90 and come back up. But it's a lot further and there's also red lights there. So I mean, either way you're risking red lights. This way you had to risk coming through downtown, but so far I think it was a good decision. That's the thing about the city. Sometimes the route is shorter, but that doesn't mean it's faster. And sometimes it looks like the route is faster, but that doesn't mean it's shorter. Especially Winnipeg, you gotta know the city. And uh, it's all sort of hit and miss. You just sort of gotta do your best. And try to figure it out. So this is the mighty Portage Avenue. We're headed westbound. If you follow this road, it will take you right to the Pacific Ocean in Vancouver, British Columbia. It's a 25 hour drive. This is the most well known avenue in the city. Almost all directions in Winnipeg include take Portage Avenue to here. So I found this fancy little uh, clip mount for you guys here. I hope that it's not gonna be rattling. I was testing it out yesterday and it was rattling just a little bit. So if there's a bit of rattle, I apologize. It's just this new little clip mount. It's, it's much more convenient because it's temporary and I can sort of take it anywhere, mount it anywhere. I also got a window suction mount and a head mount. That's the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Headquarters off there on the right. That's where all the Mounties are headquartered for, uh, I think, for Manitoba anyway. For Winnipeg, I don't know. One of their big headquarters. That's where I went when I uh, first applied. A long time ago. I was too young then. mask today so I have to wear these temporary ones and I don't like them they're always poking me in the eye ah freedom I don't like those temporary masks at all they they do the trick but man they're uncomfortable definitely not forgetting my regular mask at home tomorrow learn my Three, lesson two, okay so I got to radio in now they said it was gonna take a half hour for the forklift guy to show up here it took half a minute. I like how fast time runs here. I mean, I guess that wouldn't be good all the time, but for the most part, if you say 30 minutes, you're here in 30 seconds. I'm impressed. Might even say hashtag impressed. I'll think about it. How's this for a flattering angle? So it's been a slow day, that's for sure. Happy to have something to do today though. So I've got three stops on the truck right now. I've got to stop in Landmark. I've got to stop. Oh, uh, where's the other one? I've got one in Blumenort, one in Landmark. I like one in Steinbach. Yeah, Steinbach. So we're on the north side of the city right now on uh, Inkster and Road 90. So we go all the way around the north side of Winnipeg meet up with the Trans Canada on the east side and uh, take the Trans Canada out to Landmark. There's right near the center of Canada. You guys remember that Landmark we had to go see? Next week is when I uh, get busy with the next chapter of my life. Hopefully that goes well. I mean, technically this is already the next chapter of my life. But I start training for something new next week, is what I'm saying. Well, it's, it's like 3 o'clock now, so I'll probably have all my deliveries done by around about 4. And then I'll see if they need me tomorrow or not. It's actually supposed to be quite a warm week, from what I've seen. Which is strange, because remember we saw those sun dogs yesterday? Or the other day, the day before yesterday. That cold weather didn't really develop. Hey, they got a new Timmy's over here, on the left. 
It's good to know. I've noticed that Tim Hortons are often being uh, built right beside new Shell gas stations. I bet you there's a link between the two. Yeah, the cold never really developed, and for the rest of this week, it's actually supposed to be quite warm. I'll take it, not complaining. One of the big reasons I want to be home regularly is because we want to start a family, and uh, I don't want to bore you with talking about all of our <laughs> fertility issues again, but you know, we're going through fertility treatments. Uh, both of us, the doctors can't figure out what's going on with us. It's been three years more than that and uh, I want to be home I want to give it a good shot you know I want to give it my best shot and once my child is born you know I don't want to miss anything I want to be there that that's the next chapter of my life people ask what's the next chapter my next chapter is family family is my next chapter so what's gonna happen to this channel nothing nothing we're gonna still keep making videos just like we were before we might be in a different setting videos will change a little bit probably they'll probably start including more and more family life because that's the next chapter of my life don't worry I know a lot of you are afraid I'm gonna stop making videos or maybe a lot of you don't care but I'm gonna keep making them this is a video diary of my life right I'm gonna go back one day and look back on, on this time of my life Reflect and remember this transition period. Sun dogs today. That should mean that we'll be all right and no cold, cold weather is on the way, but you never know. The last time I said that, the cold weather never really hit. But the good news is that the daylight hours are getting longer again. That is really good news because that means we're on the way to summer. It is a beautiful, beautiful clear sky day today. Late December day. I can't wait for winter to be over. Then I can start saying it's a beautiful summer day. It's so much better. That's just rolls off the tongue a lot better, doesn't it? Got milk? I'm at a massive dairy farm. Check this out. Oh, it smells like money, any farmer would say. Grinding. Whew. What's up, guys? How you doing? Moo. <laughs> it definitely smells like money. Woo. Oh, boy. Oh, and it's even worse without the muzzle. Oh my. Whew. Sorry, I should say better. Oh, that is fresh. Whew. Man. You guys stink. You stink, man. But that's okay. Because I really like milk. Friendly critters. Tell you what, they're friendly. I love cows. Just like Diesel. Diesel loves cows. You ever wonder where your milk comes from? It comes from these friendly ladies over here. 
That's so awesome because when you go to meet a herd of cows or a group of cows or a pack of cows, whenever you go and uh, see a big group of them, they're all so fascinated in you like you're an alien. So all their eyes go wide and they all come walking over as close as they can get and then they all just stand there in a perfect line staring at you like they've never seen a human being in their lives before. Greetings. Peace to you. They think I'm an alien. No, Frank's the alien. He's the commander. No. He's still staring at me. I love cows. <laughs> They're like big dogs. I just want to go and pet them. Oh yeah, I gotta get milk when I when I go home. Before I go home, I gotta get milk. Don't let me forget. I gotta stop and get milk. One of the fun things about uh, going to visit the good old farmers, you get to go down all these fun back roads. What, they get garbage pick up here? Really? This specific five ton is so interesting because it doesn't have air brakes. So I, I didn't know how to release the parking brake this morning. <laughs> Look at this, there's, there's the parking brake. I was like, how do I get this thing to go? This thing, you put it into gear like a pickup, put your foot on the brake, and you put it into gear, and the parking brake is on the floor here. And to release it, you push a button and it releases the brake, and to engage the brake, you push it down, just like a pickup. There's a first for everything. I can now say I have gained new experience. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, I couldn't get it. I could get it in gear, I couldn't get it to go this morning. I was like, how do I release the brakes on this thing? A little button on the side there. So that was fun. Now let's fuel her up and bring her back. Let's go home. I think she needs a bath. Be honest, who missed me most? Me. Who missed me? Her? Okay, so after mom, who missed me most? Chevy? Me. Or Diesel? Now it's Diesel. Whoever sits first missed me the most. Sit. Chevy. Chevy, did you miss me that much? Wow, I would have expected it to be Diesel, but you're full of surprises. You're full of surprises. <laughs> Good boy. I missed you too. I missed you too. Did you know that? Did you know that? Oh, you got me right in the ear. Right in the ear, wet willy. Wiener? Oh, Chevy, I was gonna do that. What? Hey, Wiener, if you missed me, sit down. No? Commander? If you missed me, blink. Blink if you missed me. Don't blink, Frank. Don't do it. He's seriously not blinking. Yes! <laughs> yes, he missed me. So everyone but Wiener missed me. Wiener. And Diesel. Did you miss Dad? Where's Daddy? He's right there. I didn't miss him, though. Nope, not at all. <laughs> he was really excited when he came home though. His tail almost flew right off his butt. 
Yeah, and we had to stop them from getting trampled by these guys. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I went and uh, uh, shoveled our neighbor's driveway, right? And uh, he comes out to thank me, and he brings us these. Magner's Irish Cider. And I'm going to enjoy them tonight. We were going to enjoy them yesterday, but we had to chill them first. They were warm. He has stopped giving us stuff. He's too sweet. He's very nice. He's, he's the neighbor that gave us the fudge. He's a great guy. He is. So, uh... He, uh... His, his accent sounds English, but I've never actually asked him. I'm pretty sure he's English. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> sounds English. It doesn't sound Australian or New Zealand or... or South African, nothing like that. We're gonna sit down and uh, I guess we're sitting for this. This is a very official event. I thought we were gonna like relax a little more. Okay. We are incredibly so. important. The lighting's better in here. <laughs> the reason I mentioned that he's English is because this is imported from Ireland. So I don't think he's Irish. He definitely doesn't no. have an Irish accent. No. I'm gonna have to ask him. How is it? I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. On a scale Not of bad. one to 10. It just tastes like beer with a hint of apple. Really? Is it sort of like Bud Light Apple? Uh, not as sweet. Since 1935. Cheers. To the neighbors. To the neighbors. It's good. I like it. I can't put my finger on it though. It uh, It's very... Beer Almost orange. Beer, orange. Apple. Apple. Is that apple? Cider, honey. It is. Apple. I like it. It's not too sweet. I'm not a big fan of drinks that are too sweet these days. A big thank you to the Irish. Thank you for that and Lucky Charms. Absolutely. Especially Lucky Charms. Are they from Ireland? <laughs> They're not from Ireland, are they? <laughs> she had me there for a second. Really? That's like my favorite. 